Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Gearbox, brand new week. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do an episode during the weekend workshop at Mew, uh, which was great. Really great group of people and I think uh, people learned a lot of stuff, so it was good. We got to cover a lot of ground. Um, interesting workshop because it was probably the first time ever we didn't have a photographer come in. I mean, these are not just DSLR workshops anymore. They are large sensor camera system workshops, but it's unusual not to get that. And a vast majority of people were actually post-production people who wanted to get more into production. So very, very cool. Um, today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about meters. You guys may or may not be familiar with the 758 Cine meter from Sekonic. Uh, great light meter, workhorse, and a staple for a lot of uh, productions for episodic television and also uh, films. A lot of gaffers and DPs will use this meter. And one of the things that's great about it is besides the fact that it is an incident meter, which allows you to measure light where light is falling, um, it also has a spot meter. So you basically switch it over into a different mode with a little turn over here, and then you are able to take reflective light meterings of different areas. And the spot meter in here is a one degree spot meter, so it is very, very accurate. Um, why do we use spot meters? Well, we use spot meters so we can meter things that are too far away. We also use them so that we can figure out what the latitude or the dynamic range of our uh, exposure is. So if we're using a camera system, let's say for instance we're using, um, let's say the Canon EOS C300. If you set that camera system to an ISO of 850 or above, then you're gonna get 6.3 stops of latitude below middle gray, and then you're gonna get 5.3 stops of latitude above middle gray. So if you use a spot meter, then you can basically take a spot reading of something that's black or deep shadows, something that is uh, in the middle gray area, and then something that is your brightest object, maybe the sky, a cloud or something like that uh, in the sky. And then you can figure out what the stop range is and also how many stops above middle gray you are and how many stops below. If you know that your camera system has 5.3 stops of latitude above middle gray, and you're metering that there are seven stops of difference between middle gray and your highlights, then you're going to blow out your highlights. So you can use this tool very, very effectively. Now the problem is that while the 758 centimeter is a really fantastic meter, from a price standpoint, it's out of the reach of a lot of people. So we have this brand new meter here, which is the 478 meter from Sekonic. And this guy, um, I'd say really the only downside to this thing is that it takes two AAA batteries. I'm not a huge fan of AAAs. And it eats batteries for breakfast. Um, you know, the standard light meters out there with these types of displays you can put a couple of double A's in this thing or a single double A in the 308 DC and it lasts seemingly forever. Um, this is obviously a touchscreen display so it's going to take up and use a lot more power. Uh, but they wanted to keep the form factor small so it makes a lot of sense. And this meter is um, sort of an every meter. It can be used for everything and because it's digital it can be matched to basically any camera system at any frame rate using any shutter speed. So this is really, really great. And from a price standpoint, uh, it's only about $100 more than a 308 DC. So you're talking about, I think in the US, about $380 for this. And this is the new accessory. This is one thing that I think is very exciting about this, that is going to be available for this meter that you cannot get for something like the 308 DC. It is a five degree spot meter. And what you do is you basically take off the standard Lumisphere, Luma disc, and then you attach this and it looks like a little kind of dinosaur. You've seen this dinosaur before. And uh, essentially what you do now is this automatically now recognizes that this is a spot meter and you can take your readings um, this is what you're looking through here and you're seeing the circle of what that five degree spot is. And this is what's actually 
using and is the reflective spot meter. Um, so it's not as precise as the 758, but this attachment is going to be just over $100 US. So for under $500 or right thereabout, you can get this complete setup here with a spot meter, which is going to help you tremendously, especially if you know what your latitude range is when you're using your camera system at certain ISOs. Um, Obviously, when you're shooting flat, you're giving yourself more information than if you're using a more contrasty baked in look. But I find that meters are incredibly useful. Um, I think if you're considering buying a meter nowadays, then you should definitely give the 478 with this uh, five degree spot attachment a lot of consideration. And the nice thing is that you don't have to pay for this right away. You can just buy the meter and then you can get this later on. So very, very cool stuff, and I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.